Hi, my name is James and I'm 20 and I'm studying music in Cardiff. I'm James Kern, I'm 22 and I study computer science. Uh, so I'm Luke uh, and I'm 20 and I'm studying English literature. And the first one I bought was a Pentax Super ME. Um, I bought it because it was just quite simple. Uh, all it had was the aperture, the, the shutter, and it was just very simple. There was no fancy fanciness about it. Really. The first camera I bought was a Canon AE-1P, which um, I still have and I still love using. Um, I bought it for a photography a um to shoot black and white film, and it's amazing. I love using it. The first one that I bought was a Canon, I can't quite remember the name. Um, I bought it because it was just a very, very cheap um, one on eBay, and it wasn't... Um, it wasn't. It didn't have any automatic settings, so it, was, it seemed like it was, it was okay to use. And I just, I didn't. I'd never used film before, so well, not properly anyway. You know, and used the old Nans camera, but not the, uh, not the the proper SLR camera. And it just seemed like a fairly just wanted to work that to be good, although quite heavy. Um, but yeah. Hey, just basically check the lens, that's a nice clear lens because that can really affect the picture. And I would say if you, ha if you don't know much about photography, just get something very simple which, which you can just change the aperture and the shutter. And just because if you start simple, then once you learn that, you can move on to more advanced cameras, I would say. Start simple, start with a 35mm mm SLR, um, start with black and white film, and learn to develop and print all your own photos. Um, and in turn, you'll learn loads about photography and you'll enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. The camera that they tell people to buy is the K1000, uh, the Pentax. Um, and there's lots of cameras that are very, very similar to that one. And that's mainly because it's got um, a lot of, uh, well, every setting on it is, is completely manual. Uh, so, you know, you need to change everything um, and notice what you're doing. And it really teaches you how to adjust exposure and how to, you know, uh, manipulate your images. The first thing you, you can kind of really um, do is when you get your film back, you can go, oh, I see what I did with that one. And, you know, you're making a mental note all the time. You know, if you make every shot very different, you can make a mental note of, oh, this one I tried to slow down the shutter speed to maybe get some kind of blurring. But then because I slowed it down, there was too much light let in, so I should have, you know, uh, perhaps uh, uh, hired, uh, made the f-stop higher so as you let less lighting. Um, so yeah, those kind of things. And it's only really with a manual, manual camera that you'll be able to do that. Because if, if something's auto, then you know you don't really know what's happening and you're kind of just, it's like with a point and shoot, you're just clicking and getting a good picture, but you never really understand what's happening.